Atlantic 1 30 second scale British infantry another video on the very fun but quirky company Atlantic that made uh, toy soldiers and other toys from uh, la about late 60s till early 80s when they went bust and like I said in other videos if you want to buy historically correct figures uh, Atlantic is not the company for you but if you want to have uh, uh, fun I guess and uh, quirky poses and a little bit of weird stuff this is definitely uh, something to look into the box is uh, as all the other um, Atlantic boxes really nice artwork is just one soldier very cartoonish states 10 different soldiers in the box which is not true uh, on the good side uh, the back has uh, the different numbers for the different sets of soldiers i believe they did 14 or 16 different sets in 132 and also some of the vehicles that were available in this and this i think it's called the 2100 series and this is uh, number 2103 and as with matchbox of course it just looks like all the company starts with german infantry for the first box matchbox did and Atlantic did as well, and the German infantry was 2101. In the set, you get actually instead of 10, it's 11 poses. You have uh, five uh, firing poses, you get one officer, and then you get three weird poses. Let's, let's stick with just three. I think that's enough for, for one set to be called weird. The figures, I would say they range from semi-normal to uh, the pretty darn weird. Uh, nice details though, I like the plastic, it's kind of a waxy, pretty soft plastic still, even though they're quite old. First of all, you got the officer, which is, I think it's a, it's a decent pose, it's fine. Uh, if you're going to look at this historically, I think these ammo pouches are quite a bit too small for, for what the British were using at the time, right? Uh, other than that, I'm not sure. Uh, at least it's a revolver, right? Uh, the rifleman standing. Okay, pose. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with the muzzle of the Enfield rifle. But other than that, decent pose, fine. A few more firing poses in this set. Uh, you have the submachine gunner and you have the kneeling rifleman. Uh, this guy we're going to get into in a little bit. And these two figures, now we're getting into the little bit weirder. Uh, this Thompson, uh, I'm not sure. And he's holding on to something. I can't even tell what it is. Is this a grenade throwing soldier? Then this is like super weird. And they have uh, this guy. What? What's what's he doing? <laughs> what's he doing? Man? What is this? Pose? <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, and then you have um, this guy. Uh, in the German set, the Africa Corps, you had one that I call the Maracas player. And if I do this with the leg, I think this looks more like a bass player <laughs> than a soldier. But yeah, it's, it's interesting, let's say that. Then we have the machine gunner. Uh, I guess this is kind of like a brand gun. Or doesn't even look more like the Japanese machine gun. Together, it's a fine, it's okay, looks okay. Then we have the prone soldier with the rifle. And you'll see this in the close-ups. This is really utterly weird that his knees are not even reaching the ground. If you're going to like low crawl in this position, you're going to be tired within like five meters. So I'm not sure. Yeah. When I bought this set, maybe this is 15 years ago or something, I just couldn't figure out what are these guys doing. First, I was thinking maybe this is like the Bren Gunner. He's supposed to carry, but his hand is turned like the other way in some weird... And, and then I was thinking, what's this guy doing? It doesn't look normal. But then I looked on the internet, of course, and then I realized it's supposed to go like this. And then it's actually pretty cool. He's doing the fireman's grip, carrying his wounded buddy. So that's kind of cool, actually. It's not bad. But the mystery of uh, the weird poses deepens when you start looking at the hands of the firing soldiers. The fingers on the firing hand is not on the trigger. This is just so weird. And I believe there's, I'll see it, there's these two and the officer... 
his finger is not on the trigger. I don't even know how you can hold the pistol like this. And you have the rifleman, which is kind of semi on the... I guess that's on the trigger, right? But that's really weird. So you have three, like I said before, three soldiers with the fingers not on the trigger in a really weird uh, position. Also, if you compare these uh, to the German Africa Corps, I don't know if I can do it justice here, but the, these are a tiny bit smaller than the Africa Corps. And I think um, the scale kind of varied on these. That I think these would be someone, some people list these as 60 millimeters, and someone lists these as uh, 54 millimeters, and that should be 132nd scale, I guess. So it differs a bit from set to set with uh, Atlantic. But either way, um, like I said, if you want uh, historically accurate figures, these are not for you. But if you want to have fun, have a talking piece in your collection, then you can collect uh, Atlantic. Because uh, I think it's more t fun talking about these weird dudes than it's talking about the perfectly correct uh, ammo pouches on uh, whatever other toy figures you have. At least after a couple of beers, right? So I love these. I think they're really fun and I wouldn't trade them for anything in the world. And I have five sets, six sets, I should say, of soldiers. And I'm going to get all the rest of them because I really, really like these. Uh, that's it for this video. Stay around and watch the close-ups if you want to see these funky dudes up close and uh, spinning around and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.